It's been an unusual year, but you've made it through. No doubt thanks to Pretty Little Liars for bringing out the joy in you. You've had such a fun time watching this brilliant show. Even though the writing is not quite the row. It's always seemed to hit new lows. Why must everyone always do the wrong thing? Like when Ashley and Jason had their awful fling. Or when Ella's brain malfunctioned, leaving her with icky bee stings. I remember when Toby was your favorite in season 1. But then you saw him in this drag, and any goodwill was undone. His tears for his mommy rivaled Edward's depression in Midnight Sun. Rosewood Petey is a fool for trusting this man-child with a gun. The liars are always serving looks, and I know you enjoy the fashion. Almost as much as you must love watching Ezra's disturbing passion. It was a chilling moment watching Ezra creepily take chickpeas to his cellar. And all because he wanted to become a true crime bestseller. This reaction will always stay with me as the performance was oh so stellar. And we're really supposed to believe that he becomes a renowned storyteller? Why does Emily always have the same facial expression? A mix of confused, bored intrigue waiting for her next girlfriend's succession. First we had Maya, who opened him's eyes. Until her possession of drugs and possessive dudes led to her untimely demise. Although not next in line, we had to endure Miss Sarah Harvey. She took a lot of showers. Why couldn't she have just bathed in the Black Sea? We also had Paige, who tried to drown him in her sorrow. Before Spencer said she was as dangerous as a climb up Mount Kilimanjaro. Spencer definitely accused people a lot. But she seemed to pardon Toby, as his pecs proved to be her blind spot. Speaking of blind, what the heck was up with Jenna? Her plot line was carried out like a broken antenna. Blinded one minute. And the next, she's fine. And then she goes right back to the starting line. I couldn't go without mentioning this surprising romance. And how sparks flew at first glance. But then how he fell for her sophisticated BFF when he was given the chance. So many plot lines that seem to lead nowhere. The whole show has been fueled by some sort of affair. I keep hoping and hoping for a breath of fresh air. But instead, we get shots of a disgraced former teacher in his underwear. I hope you didn't think I'd forget about Byron, your frontrunner for favorite dad. It must have something to do with the way he walks, like a robotic, stiff, ironclad lad. So cheers to you on this happy happy day. I can assure you your year of PLL hasn't been a waste. You certainly don't fall into any cliché. You're a father with impeccable taste. Kisses, eh? Hey.